get me to 7,000 likes so we can start this um, reading for the full moon in Pisces today. See, as a collective, uh, what we need to see. I'm going to be looking at uh, the next 48 hours for the collective to see what's going on. Okay. How you doing? Thank you for the compliment. How are you? answer to that. How are you? <laughs> um, well, you let me know when you're finished planning it and you tell me uh, dates. You still haven't emailed me, so I don't know what in the world is up with you. Um, all of this is not helping, okay? I'm not communicating with you on here. I've already told you. If you want to see me, you know what to do. If you want to get to know me, you know what to do. We're not going to keep doing this. I'm going to start ignoring you. Okay? I don't do this going back and forth with people. When you mean it, you mean it. You plan it. You whatever. Okay? I don't do that. Hey, Mingleys. Hey, Melly. Deshanta, I'm good. I'm good. I just got finished going over the uh, Pisces moon with my Pisces over on my IG uh, page. Um, looks very interesting for Pisces. Uh, really uplifting as well. Also, um, I'm coming over here to do that as well, to do a, a 48 hour to see what's going on for the next 48 for the collective for the full moon, okay? That's what we're doing. Y'all give me the 7,000 likes and we'll get this show on the road. Okay? Get it moving. What are y'all up to today? I'm going to get this done because I have somewhere to go after this. Um, but I do plan to tell you guys as a collective, not individual signs, as a collective, what is coming towards you in the next 48, okay? So take what's yours and leave the rest, okay? I'm eating pizza with my dad. Pretty cool. Thank you for the follows. Just got home from work, about to pick up my daughter from school. Nice. At the dentist with my kid. I know, that's right. <laughs> oh, gosh. All right, where are we at? Oh, we at the 44.3, 4, and then it's 43 people in here. Wow, so 43, 43, which is 7, 7. We've been seeing seven, y'all. There's something coming into the collective, okay? Something that is divinely guided towards the collective. Hey, 
are you? Thank you so much for the compliment. I'm at work listening to you. Hey, Tootsie. I'm so ready to experience this moon. My wine and sitting on my balcony relaxing. <laughs> I hear that. I, I, will, I might be outside if the mosquitoes ain't biting too much. Okay. We'll see. Because they sure be tearing me up. Coming to this reading spirit for this collective for the next 48 for this Pisces moon. And show us what we need to see, please, spirit, for this collective for this Pisces moon. to this video here for this collective for this Pisces moon and show us what we need to be made aware of for the next 48. Show us what we need to see for this spirit. Spirit for this collective for the next 48 for this Pisces moon, please. Spirit, I'm gonna bring out my cards that I made over the weekend. The new deck that you experienced yesterday. If some of y'all were in here and see at the end what shenanigans are going on in the background, okay. Show me what I need to see, please. Spirit, for this collective for the next 48 for this Pisces moon. Where am I from? Actually, where is uh, when you're asking someone that is actually W H E R E? Okay, I'm big on English or okay, so don't get offended because I corrected you. All right, I am from Reading, Pennsylvania. Show me what I need to see, please, spirit. I spent ten years down in D.C. Then went back up to Pennsylvania. And now I'm living in Baltimore. Show me what I need to see, please, spirit, for this collective, for this next 48, for this Pisces moon. Okay, let's do it. Show me what I need to see. Oh. We got to keep your heart open. Libra. Energy. So, uh... For the Pisces moon, you could be dealing with a Libra or you are a Libra. And there's a spirit is asking you to keep your heart open, collective, uh, for this Pisces moon. Something could be getting ready to balance out in love for you, collective. So maybe that's why this Pisces moon is bringing out this keep your heart open for the next 48. There could be someone coming towards you. Behind that is take a reality check. Capricorn energy. So you could be dealing with a Capricorn or you could be a Capricorn. You could also be dealing with something when it comes to your finances, okay, for the next 48. Show me one more for this collective for the next 48 for this Pisces moon. What do we need to see? Thank you. That's two. We got Think It Through and Shine, Gemini Energy and Leo Energy. So you could be dealing with a Leo in, this ne in the next 48 hours. We can also need to think something through. When it comes to something that could be brought to your attention, okay? Bottom of the deck is still take a reality check, Capricorn energy. So there could be something that you're dealing with when it comes to your finances that you need to think through. I do feel like, or, or a person that could be coming in towards you. You could be dealing with a Libra, a Leo, or a Gemini, okay? Or you could have those in your chart. Okay, but that's the overall energy. Let me get, um, let's see what comes out of the bag for the Zodiacs, okay? I might even do some initials today. Let's see what comes out before we get started. So show us what we need to see, please, Spirit. What is the energy that this is hosting? We got Scorpio. So you could be dealing with a Scorpio. You could be going through some type of a tower moment. We got the number 555. I meant to take that out of there yesterday. That is um, that is uh, about change, okay? So change is coming your way. We got Virgo coming out and Aquarius. So you could have a Virgo, a Scorpio, or an Aquarius coming your way for the next 48. Or a, a Cancer, okay? Confirmation with the, um, <laughs> with the text message there. Okay, so those, that's the um, 
uh, energy that this reading is holding. Could definitely have some type of um, conversation with someone with this Aquarius energy here. Could be very emotional with the Cancer and the Scorpio here. Uh, could be about a Virgo or could be about some type of a foundation or something like this here, okay? Okay. What else are we going? Tarot. Spirit said Tarot. So, okay. Show me what I need to see, please, Spirit, for the next 48 for this collective for the Pisces full moon. What do I need to see for this collective? Bottom of the deck. Oh, we got the Ace of Cups. So, there could be someone coming with a love offer in the next 48 during this Pisces uh, full moon. Pisces energy with the Ace of Cups here. Show me what else I need to see for the collective for this Pisces full moon. We got the Page of Cups coming out. So there could be another there could be a love offer or a job offer coming in. You could be dealing with children as well. We got the three of swords and it came out sideways. So I feel like someone could be healing from something here or trying to heal something here. What else for this yeah Queen of Wands coming out. Aries Leo Sagittarius. So you could have someone coming in towards you who's a little heartbroken. Okay. Could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, a Gemini, or a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio that wants to bring in some type of peace. Could also be a Sagittarius, okay? We got Aquarius on the board. We also got Scorpio and Cancer. We got uh, the Page of Cups out here for that, okay? So there could be someone coming towards you who wants to uh, heal something with you, okay, collective? Could be a feminine energy. We got the Nine of Pentacles coming out. It did come out in the reverse. So someone could be a little codependent on someone. Someone could be having trouble with codependency or something like this. And it doesn't have to be a drug. It could actually be a person that someone is codependent on, okay? We got the chariot. So someone could be moving forward from that. We do got cancer out here. Cancer energy with the chariot as well, okay? Pisces energy with the nine of pentacles coming out. You're moving forward, it seems like. Wow, we got the judgment jumping out. Sagittarius energy and the nine of cups. You're going towards what makes you happy. You're making some type of a decision to... Ooh, I got the chills. To go towards what makes you happy in the next uh, 48. We got the two of pentacles. I feel like you're making some type of a decision. You got some type of clarity or you're going to get some type of clarity in the next 48 about which direction you want to go in it looks like here and you're going to make some type of a decision with this judgment here to go towards what makes you happy okay but i feel like there's someone in the background who is um heartbroken okay it could be coming in with some love offer or a job offer or something like this here the eight of cups definitely could be walking away from something Somebody wants to come out of the cold here from the past, and I feel like they don't want to rush you into anything because they're worried about you walking away. Wow. What is this uh, page of cups? What's this page of cups here? We got the death coming out. There's some type of a transformation here, and we got Scorpio energy out here on the board already with Scorpio coming out with the death card. There's some type of transformation with this offer that's coming in. You can definitely be dealing with a child. You don't have to be though, okay? I do feel like something is, someone has made some type of a decision to come towards you with the two of pentacles in the reverse on the bottom of the deck. And this could also be a job offer, okay? What is this three of swords? Why is this, thank you. The nine of wands and it came out sideways. Like I said, I feel like somebody is healing from something, okay? Something that uh, they're tired of being heartbroken and, and they're trying to heal something here. I feel like someone doesn't is not really sure about approaching a situation with you. What is this Queen of Wands? Like somebody could be a little scared. Yeah, we got the tower. There's someone coming at in Scorpio energy. Okay. I did say you could be going through a tower moment. Scorpio energy here on <laughs> there could be some type of a conversation that this person wants to have with you, but there could be some type of an ending here. There could also be some type of a beginning here because when there's an ending, there's a beginning. But I feel like whatever this is that somebody wants to transform here with you, it's going to shock you the way that this person comes in. You're not expecting this, okay? What is this nine of pentacles? So you got nine, nine, nine. So something's definitely ending. We got the nine of wands, the nine of cups, and the nine of pentacles. What is this nine of pentacles? 
We got the magician. Yeah, someone's manifesting in some type of freedom or some type of financial freedom or something here. We got the justice on the bottom of the deck. Libra energy. Libra energy been very strong in the readings lately, okay? So there's some justice coming in here for you as you move forward to what you want to do. What is this uh, chariot? Why is this chariot here? There could be something about dealing with a car or something. We got the Knight of Pentacles. There's something very sturdy that you're going towards or that's coming towards you as you go towards it, okay? Four of Pentacles, I can't make it up. This could have something to do with your stability. This could have something to do with your household or something like this here. Verbal Taurus Capricorn energy here with the Four of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. We got justice. So this is justice. Whatever this is coming in towards you, it's meant to. Especially with this judgment here. So we got the justice and the judgment. Like there's a decision made that this is just happening. Okay, you have no control over this. This is what's supposed to happen. What is this Nine of Cups? What's this Nine of Cups? Why is the Nine of Cups here, please, Spirit? What's this Nine of Cups? We got the Hierophant coming out and the Strength. So I feel like someone with the Nine of Cups here, you're going towards what makes you happy. I definitely feel like if there were some traditions that you were used to, that you're no longer doing what people traditionally have done, this is why you're probably doing it single with the Nine of Pentacles here. Okay, with the strength card here, I feel like you're have, finding the strength to do something that's non-traditional. Okay, maybe your family did something one way, but you're doing it another way. But whatever it is, Knight of Pentacles, oh, thank you. The Knight of Pentacles is going to be very sturdy moving forward for you financially. Okay, what is this judgment? Sagittarius energy. All right, let me set another one. Hold on for a second. Thank you so much. The Black Queen Esquire for that. I appreciate that. Okay. What is this uh, judgment? Why is this judgment here? What's this judgment? Thank you. We got the Four of Cups in the reverse. Yeah, you're not going to miss out on some type of an opportunity. Maybe you think that you did for four. So this is definitely about your stability. Okay. There's something in this that's about your stability. There's definitely something that could be coming towards you. You could be ending one thing and going towards another thing. But I do feel like there's someone in the background who's in their feelings, okay? Not really sure how to approach a situation here with you. But they're coming in and it's coming in as a tower. Um, and I don't know if this is uh, someone or if this is you going towards something like all of a sudden. What is this tower? What's the tower? Why is the tower here? We got the Eight of Cups. So you're walking away from something all of a sudden, like I said. You're walking away from something. Five of Wands, there could be some type of a fight or some type of an argument. I feel like there's someone who's coming towards you who doesn't want to fight with you, but who doesn't want you to let them go either, okay? I do feel like Four of Wands, oh my God, and the Empress. This could definitely be some type of a marriage situation here, okay? That someone doesn't want you to walk away from, okay? Somebody wants to fight for some type of a commitment here with you, okay? But I feel like in some ways you're manifesting to do something while you're single, okay? Because there's something sturdy coming in here for you. I feel like you just don't want to do something traditionally. Okay, maybe your family, you know, as, as used to people doing something. I feel like you're finding the strength to move on by yourself. Okay, you're coming out as the Empress here and the Queen of Wands. Or this Queen of Wands is, is someone that's coming toward you that's scared, kind of, to come toward you with something that they may have to say to you. What's the overall energy here? So for the next 48, there could definitely be some people coming toward you from the past. Okay, but you are manifesting going into a direction that is very sturdy for you. You're going towards what makes you happy. I do feel like there, you feel like, okay, maybe your time was up to do something that you're trying to do. That's not true. Four cups in reverse, you got time. You haven't missed out on some type of an opportunity that you maybe you thought that you did, okay? What's the overall energy for this next 48, for the full moon, for, for this collective? 
overall energy for the next 48. We got the Queen of Cups coming out and the Five of Pentacles in the reverse on the bottom of the deck. So you're coming out of the cold when it comes to something here, okay? We got the King of Wands coming out as well. You're going towards something here. Compassionate, loving, wow. There could also be a love offer coming in towards you that you may have your back to that you don't see coming. But somebody either wants to come out of the cold with you or there's something coming in here. Yeah, Six of Cups behind that. There's someone from the past. There's someone um, that could be watching you, Collective, that really wants to... Um, come towards you with some type of a love offer here okay they want to come out of the cold with you the hermit i feel like this person thinks you're very wise okay they could be spending time alone you could be uh, but someone can't seem to let you go and you know it okay high priestess four of pentacles the sun leo energy pisces energy virgo taurus capricorn virgo strong with the hermit okay but there's someone who wants to come out of the cold here with you and with the Ace of Cups, the Queen of the King of the Queen of Cups and the King of Wands, someone uh, I believe is very much uh, uh, smitten by you, okay? And this person wants to come in with some type of a love offer here, and I feel like they're coming, okay? <laughs> Over the next forty-eight. Where are we going from here? All right, angel answer for the next 48 and I mean angel uh, um, message and then we'll give an angel answer and we'll end this live, okay? For the next 48 for this Pisces moon. What is the overall energy? What does the angel have to say for the collective for this Pisces full moon? Somebody's really in their feelings here and I told you it's a, the Pisces moon is lots of energy here. Um, Lots of emotions. Show me what I need to see, please, Spirit, for this collective for the next 48 for um, this Pisces moon. Bottom of the deck is Vanessa. To make your decision, ask yourself, and I said this earlier, which way brings me closer to my divine purpose? Which way takes me away from it so you may be needing to make a decision okay remember the two of pentacles was on the bottom of the deck in the reverse um you may need to make a decision on something here okay collective there could be a few people coming towards you at the same time or you need to see which way to go in a certain situation okay show me what i need to see for this collective for the next 48 angel message Give me one more. We got Sonia coming out and Teresa. Bottom of the deck is Opal. Your children on earth and in heaven are happy and well cared for by God and the angels. So if you're worried, that keeps coming out. So someone could be worried about their children. Um, I did say this could have something to do with children. So uh, if you're worried about your children, your children are, are taken care of, okay? Teresa, we got time out. You're, you've been busy taking care of everyone else, everyone else's needs, but now it's time to stop and take care of yourself. So that's what I feel like that's, that's what's coming in for you, Collective. You're walking away from something all of a sudden, okay? All of a sudden. With the Nine of Wands, you could be tired, okay? Definitely tired, but I do feel like there's someone who's in the background who's heartbroken here with this Nine of Wands here that wants to come in towards you, but they're really unsure of how to do it. This could also be you, Collective. Put yourself in the situation as a new fit, okay? Then we got Sonia. I bring you a message from your deceased loved one. I am happy, at peace, and I love you very much. Please don't worry about me. So there is a loved one who could be looking over your family, who could be looking over your children, okay? And they want you to know that they're okay. You just need to focus on your journey, okay? They got you, okay? So let this loved one rest in peace and you keep moving on with your life. They're obviously watching you because they're sending you a message 
to let you know that they're good. And I got the chills the whole time I'm saying this, okay? So there's definitely a loved one around you who wants you to know that they are good. You can stop worrying about them. They're no longer in pain. They're no longer upset or crying or any of that. Um, they're fine, okay? It's you who needs to concentrate on you. Final messages, please, Spirit, for this collective. For this uh, next 48, for the Pisces moon, show me what I need to see, please, sir, for this collective. For the next 48, thank you. For this Pisces moon, what else? For this collective, for the next 48. This collective for the next 48, okay. Bottom of the deck is Abundance Collective. All those pentacles that was coming out, I'm trying to tell you you're about to have some type of abundance coming into your life. I already said that in the beginning that there's some good things coming into the collective, okay? We got to communicate clearly. So there could be some type of a message that you are going to get where you're going to need to communicate clearly and we got a peaceful resolution. So there could be people coming towards you. We got to take action and perfect timing and helpful people. So there's people coming in here, it looks like, to help you with something. And you are going to need to take action on something on your end, okay? But there's going to be a peaceful resolution. Just remember to um, communicate clearly, okay, with what your needs are or what you need from people or something like this here. But abundance is behind that. And behind that is within the next few weeks so there's something being set in motion by this full moon collective that you need to try to be ready for uh, i don't know what ready looks like to you and you know no one can really tell you what ready looks like but um do your best to be ready for whatever this is is coming in towards you because there's about to be some folks coming in in perfect timing with something that you need to take action on and it's going to lead to some type of abundance here for you, okay? I hope that you guys enjoyed this um, full moon reading. I hope that it gave you some insight and clarity on what you're dealing with right now. Uh, if you need a full reading personally from me, the link is in the bio. Um, let me make sure no one paid for a reading. Now I can get out of here. You're welcome. You're welcome. I missed the whole damn thing. Oh, I'm going to put it on YouTube. Okay, baby. You're welcome. I am a Pisces, and what does the Pisces moon have in store for me? Well, Karen, if you follow me over there on uh, IG, I have a Pisces channel. It's I just did a Pisces reading for the full moon over there. Okay, so it's IG and it's Pisces channel by Stacy underscore Linnell. Stacy is spelled S T A C E Y underscore Linnell L Y N E L L E. Okay, so uh, you check it out because I just did it. Okay, it is posted over there. Oh, thank you, Rosa. You're so sweet. Thank you, Anna. Yes, it's on IG. That's what I said. Yeah, it's over there. Okay? I love y'all, and I'll talk to y'all soon. Bye. You're welcome.